Rhode Island voters should vote for me because I'm going to use my small business experience, my experience in helping state governments find and eliminate waste and fraud in their spending programs, to make our state more economically competitive, to find the tax savings necessary, to bring down taxes, make us economically, competitiveness, economically competitive. That's how we're going to bring jobs back to Rhode Island. I'm Mayor Alan Fong, proud three-term mayor of the city of Cranston. We've done a lot of wonderful things to create a better business environment during my three terms, thousand new jobs. And those initiatives I want to take to the state house and really change our state, making it open for business and uh, make, and getting people back to work. That's my goal and that's my promise. I love this state. To Rhode Island voters of all affiliation, I'm Todd Chirou, running for governor. I'm an American. I believe in the Constitution. I have the jobs plan for Rhode Island. It's a statewide jobs plan. We're going to end wrongful foreclosures in Rhode Island, and I have the passion to deliver real change for the people, working people of Rhode Island. I'm proud to have run a positive campaign, a campaign based not on attacking others, uh, but on attacking our problems. And I've put forward a real plan filled with new ideas uh, to move the economy of the state forward. New ideas like the HOPE internship program so that every public high school student can get a career training internship. The HOPE scholarship program to tackle the burden of student debt. And a comprehensive women's equality agenda to make sure that we fulfill the promise of equal pay for equal work. And across the board, a more strategic approach to our economic development so we can create jobs by investing in our roads and our bridges and also our ports. But to do any of these things, the very first thing that we have to do is change the broken politics of this state. It's why I'm running. It's why I've refused to take a dime from political action committees and state lobbyists so that we can instead focus on you. You see, I don't want to be their governor. I want to be your governor. I want to work hard every single day to make sure that people in this state can afford to stay in their homes, can afford to send their kids to quality public school, uh, aren't struggling with huge levels of student debt. This is what we can do if we change the politics and the culture of this state. And that's why I ask for your support this coming September 9th. Rhode Islanders need a jobs governor, and I will be a jobs governor to get people back to work. I have experience working with small businesses and have created over a thousand jobs. And as treasurer, I've shown I have the courage to take on the tough issues and the ability to solve big problems. And now I'm running for governor to take that experience and track record to get Rhode Island back to work. I ask for Rhode Islanders to vote for me because of my personal experience and my professional experience. I often say I'm the only candidate who ever had clothes on layaway and handed hope. I want people to know that I know what it's like to sacrifice. I've lived it, and that's how I've learned it. Uh, the second thing is I'm the one who's been a chief executive, who's run a city, who's made tough choices over and over and over again. Uh, and that has prepared me to be Rhode Island's next governor. So uh, I'm looking forward to the support of the voters and, uh, in the Democratic primary and then in the general election in November.